caused all this, you know. After Oriath was destroyed, I traveled, searching for answers. Everywhere I went, the same divine devastation. It must end. I will end it. And no exile will stop me! Reborn, no matter the cost. But each day descends further into madness. Famine and plague besiege us. The very earth is being poisoned. The Count's men, once our protectors, have turned on us. And now, they come. be the one to face this nightmare. No noose this time. I'll remove your head myself! But I need not do it alone. advances, spreading dread and despair. We must give chase. Son, 
are you clear of mind and stout of heart? I am. Are you ready to sacrifice? Sacrifice everything to become the savior? I will. Do you have the strength to sweep aside this world and build it anew? I must. Now, are you ready to fulfill your destiny? The gods are dead. But left on their own, men will always seek to take their place. Criminals! Your sentence is to be hanged from the neck until dead. Let your souls feed the first ones, and your bodies feed the land. The only result is pain and death. When we started working on Path of Exile 2 on console, we knew we had to do a much better job than we've done in the past. And Path of Exile 2 is a great game to do that with, because the combat is so much more visceral and action-oriented. As soon as we tried it on a controller, all of those extra features that we did to make melee combat feel so much better just really came out and felt great. We've got a dedicated team for console now, and they were able to create a new user interface just for controller, and we're really excited to show it to you guys. It's twin stick, so basically left stick is your movement, as you'd expect, and right stick is uh, the directional control for your character, so it allows you to do things like run backwards and stuff like that. Uh, it also overrides the auto-targeting, so it allows you to actually manually target uh, enemies that are surrounding you, um, giving you much greater control. It works in combination with the, the key binds, so we've got 24 key binds, that we have for, for the game, which sounds a bit daunting, uh, but the way we kind of manage that is each skill that you gain is basically given a default bind, and then you can choose to override that if you want, if it's completely in the player's hands, uh, to choose where they want to bind the actual skills. 
you have a lot of freedom with regards to your design of your build because that is the nature of the game, is that we need to allow that flexibility for players to create uh, whatever they want to play. Inventory management for console, uh, we've basically redesigned the, the whole menu system specifically for console. It's full screen, uh, it provides you with a preview of your character so you can actually see the full model of the character close up. But functionally, we still hold fidelity with the actual PC game. So inventory management is like you can pick up an item, move it around and, and place it and equip it as usual. But we also provide shortcuts. So like there's a fast way to equip, there's a fast way to use an item in your inventory. So when we were thinking about what would be a great reason to play Path of Exile on a couch, one of the things that we knew a lot of people would really enjoy was playing with their friends in co-op. This is actually a feature that a lot of games just don't bother with anymore, but it's something that I really love personally. You can play through the whole game from beginning to end together, enjoying the story along the way. And one of the great things is, is that in Path of Exile 2, we have a lot more synergy between our classes. So if you're playing something different from your friend, you'll probably find a lot of ways to work together. So the addition of Couch Cart was initially a bit of an experiment at first, uh, and then we started to expand on it. We uh, introduced like separate HUDs for each of the characters, uh, and then once we got the camera system working with two characters, it really started to kind of come together and play really nicely. So then we expanded on that by providing uh, Couch Cart players with panel versions of the, the full screen menus that I've spoken about. Uh, which allowed us to have like simultaneous play with regards to uh, inventory management and adjusting uh, your passive skill tree and stuff like that. It was really just a, an evolution uh, of the original sort of single player game that um, actually turned into something pretty special. So logging in with Couch Cub is pretty straightforward. Uh, like. You log in as normal with single player, and then you can choose to log in uh, second player as a guest on that account. Or if you've got a friend who's a, a fan of the game as well, who ha also has an account, they can log in as a second player and have access to all of their, their content as well. So uh, we've basically made it as flexible as possible to play uh, any way you want to play. We're really happy with the addition of it, um, and it's available on console and on PC as well, so it's on all available platforms. It's, I'd say it's like integral to the, the, the main game now. With Path of Exile 2, we're trying to introduce the game to a much larger audience, and that means that it's really important to make sure that all our mechanics are understandable. Path of Exile's kind of got a reputation as a game of complexity, and this is something we want to make sure that we're improving while also maintaining all the depth that we have. So we're making sure in POE 2 that we've got a lot more systems around giving you more information, our item system, for example, it's certainly an area that had some complexity to it. Well, in POE 2, we wanted to make sure there just weren't any hidden mechanics anymore, and so we've added a help system built into every hover. You get the press of a button, you can get help about what any stat does, and we found that that's really useful to the play experience. Path of Exile 2 has full cross-play and cross-progression. Cross-progression basically allows you to play your game on, on your PC, and then if you want to move to the couch and continue play, then you can. You can just switch on your PlayStation and continue playing. It makes sense for us to release this on PC and consoles at the same time. The models we're supporting are PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series models. People around their office have had a huge amount of fun on the console version of POE 2, especially with the couch co-op. We'll be having a beta on console simultaneously with PC at the end of the year, and I'm really excited to see what you guys think. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to converting everyone to use a controller when they're playing Path of Exile 2.